Hi, I am Robin Magnet and I am going to present DWKS, a local descriptor of deformation between meshes and point clouds. In this work, we seek to perform shape matching by leveraging on common deformations of surfaces within collections. Say one seeks to obtain a specific pointwise map between a sphere and a cube as shown below. Due to the large number of symmetries, there is no way to find this specific map without further information. However, if one has access to two similarly deformed versions of the shapes, then the number of symmetries could be greatly reduced, as the bumps should be mapped accordingly. In the following, we will use the language of functional correspondences. This means that instead of looking at how points are put in correspondence between shapes, we seek to transfer functions from one shape to another using a functional map, as shown on the image on the right. By expressing functions in the right basis, all functional operators, including the functional map, can be described as small k by k matrices independently from the size of each mesh. Pointwise correspondences can later be recovered. Using the functional map framework, we define the deformation between two shapes using shape difference operators. Given two shapes in functional correspondences, Shape difference operators act on functions of the source shape and distort them according to the deformation between the surfaces. The image below shows how the shape difference operator associated to the deformation on the left can modify the function on the right. We use two of such operators, described as small matrices, which together completely embed the intrinsic distortions between two shapes. Previous work has tried to leverage on these operators in order to compute correspondences between surfaces undergoing similar deformations. The idea is as follows. A function on one shape may first be transferred using a functional map and then modified by a shape difference operator, or first modify and then transferred. Given that the two deformations are similar, the associated shape difference operators should act similarly which leads to the following system, solved by SVD to avoid zero as a solution. In practice, this solver appears to be quite unstable and fails in the presence of partiality. We argue using only global unbendings of the deformations is too restrictive and that local information can be extracted from these very same operators in the form of shape descriptors. The construction of our pointwise descriptor named DWKS originates from an analysis of properties of shape difference operators and of the similarities with the Laplacian operator. Similarly to the Laplacian, these operators firstly locally modify functions depending on the local distortion, which justifies the extraction of local information. They furthermore possess interesting algebraic properties namely positive definiteness and a multiplicative algebra structure, which motivates the form of our descriptor. The comparison with the Laplacian led us to leverage on spectral properties of shape difference operators in order to compute our descriptors. We therefore define DWKS descriptors of a shape difference operator as the Gaussian blur of its spectrum. This outputs our multiscale local descriptor of deformations. The image below shows the descriptor can remain stable across non-isometric shapes, even in the presence of partiality. DWKS can be used like any shape descriptor to perform shape correspondence. A general pipeline is shown here, where given two collections of shapes with similar deformations, like frames of a video, one can aggregate multiple DWKS descriptors before computing and refining a pointwise map. We give a more precise example of a matching pipeline in the paper. We display here results on both synthetic data on the left and real scans on the right, and show that our descriptors perform well even in the presence of partiality. We compare our method to the SVD solver presented earlier and to the usual functional map computation pipeline using standard shape descriptors. Thank you for your attention.